Hello everyone, I am DeGroot, and guess what time it is? <laughs> That's right, I finally found a way to create some content, and today I'll be playing for the very first time on video. Pokemon Fire Red version, the remake of the classic from my childhood. The reason I'm going with this one first is because, well, I had to start over. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the uh, emulator to work for the blue or red version. Uh, I might troubleshoot that at some point because I do want to do some other videos like a randomizer. Um, so anyway, uh, without further ado, here we are. First new content on the video in quite a long time that isn't Pokemon card opening or sports card openings. And you know what? I'm excited. I'm excited about new things here. And without further ado, let's go. Oop, it reset on me. Alright, here we go. Fire red. Controls, the various buttons will be explained in the order of their importance. Blah blah blah, blah blah blah. None of these apply because you're not using a gamepad. I'm using my keyboard. I've already mapped it the way I think will work, but we'll see. But I'm excited to share this with you guys. Uh, this is a bit of my childhood. <clears throat> I'm going to try my best here to do an impression of uh, Professor Oak. It's probably not going to be very good. Hello there! Glad to meet you! Welcome to the world of Pokemon! My name is Oak! <laughs> gonna sound like a Adam Sandler impression here in a second. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Oh, that's not nice. And I bang trainers' moms while they're away. But first, Tell me all about yourself. Well, I'm a Gemini. That means I'm born in May. Like long walks by the lakeside on a, on a cool spring day when the wind is just in the trees so nice. Uh, uh, what? I'm sorry? Oh, oh, you want to know what my gender is? How dare you ask my gender? I'm a boy. I have a boy. Let's begin with your name. What is it? Well, as you know, I am the Groot. So let's do it. Now I'm going to be a capitalization nerd on this one. Go over here. Oh, hey, dummy. Spell. Okay, I need to capitalize. There we go, because my name has a capital G. Thus distinguishing it from other letters. Oh yeah, okay. Now, if I remember correctly, the start button was enter. Enter. Oh, and then I just hit that. Aha! Emulators, exciting, right? Otherwise it costs a lot of money to get like capture stuff. So anyways, <clears throat> Professor, right, so your name is DeGroot. Yes, I am DeGroot. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you both were babies. Um, what was his name now? Ooh, Professor Oak, are you okay? You got Alzheimer's, huh? Rough, it's rough. Well, let's see. What is the name of my rival? Now, I could go with something silly. Perhaps, but <laughs> His name is Butt. <laughs> uh, I could go with something serious and name him Richard. Well, secretly, behind his back, I call him Dick. Because he's a dick. This guy is. <laughs> so, yeah. That's his name. His name is Dick. What's up, Dick? I hit a thing. I'll get used to these controls eventually. That's the that's the plan. Alright. <laughs> My rival's name is Dick. Er, 
Was it Dick? Yes, Prof Professor Biden. That's right, I remember now. <laughs> His name is Dick. I like it. All right. Dick Root! Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, I'm pumped. Ah, I'm playing the SNES. Oh, wait, no. Oh, sorry. The NES. <laughs> yeah, I actually had one of those. Don't judge me on my age, alright? I had one that was new. Actually, that's probably not true. I think they came out mid-80s, and I was born in the mid-80s. Yeah, I'm not old. Anyhow. I'm gonna go. <sighs> Fine, I'll talk to Mom. Hi, Mom. <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna do a lady voice. Would be very good. Right. All boys leave home someday. I'll just do something. Yeah, that'll work. It said so on TV. Mom, you listen to everything they say on the television? I mean, I guess we do live in a world where ten-year-olds are responsible enough to go out into the world and battle other ten-year-olds, and adults for that matter, in the forest. And... Moving on. Oh yes, Professor Oak next door was looking for you. Oh, he was? Oh, I'm sure he was. He wants to send me away. So that my mom will be alone. See, without a father. Alright, anyways, let's go check it out. Hey, what's up, Professor's Aid? Hi, Steady Pokemon. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> Alright, we gotta give a nerdy name. Hi, Steady Pokemon is Professor Oak's Aid. Hey, and, uh, this is a perfect opportunity to try out one of my favorite uh, impressions. I'm gonna be Krillin from Dragon Ball Z. Or should I be original Krillin from Dragon Ball? We'll go... I'm gonna go original Dragon Ball. I study Pokemon as Professor Oak's aid. Oh, that's nice to know. I study Pokemon as Professor Oak's aid. That's what the last guy said. What's up, Dick? What? It's only DeGroot. Gramps isn't around. Huh. All right. Then I'll just go screw myself. All right. What's up, bro? What are you doing down here? Technology is incredible. You can now store or recall items and Pokemon as data via PC. Oh, that's interesting information. Thank you, information man. Who's in this house? I played this game like a hundred times growing up, so I know who it is. Hi, DeGroot. My brother, Dick, is out at Grandpa's lab. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Can't run yet, so... Oh! Hey, wait! Don't go out! Huh? It's unsafe! Wild Pokemon live in tall grass! You need your own Pokemon for your protection. Hmm. He's Yoda. Oh. Hmm. I know. Here, come with me. Well, I mean, he is a guru, right? Pokemon guru. So it only makes sense, you know, Yoda. It's a solid connection. I keep looking at myself on the thing. Hello. I can look at you. I'll try not to stare. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Dick? Hmm. Let me think. Oh, that's right. Told you I did to come. Just wait. Here, the Groot. Pokemon, there are three here. <laughs> The Pokemon in balls are held inside. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I can't do it in my brain, so I'll just get 
Mmm. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trader. Mmm. In my old age. Now, I have these three left. You can have one. Shoes go on. Mmm. Aw, oh, hey, Gramps. No fair. What about me? Be patient, Dick. You have one. You can have one. Also, you will have one. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. Oh, geez. Hmm. You know, I'm just thinking, what Pokemon am I going to pick? Oh, I don't know. What Pokemon are we going to pick? Oh, gee. Um, um, e, ooh, ah. Let's see. Let's, let's check out this one over here. Oh, hmm. That one looks interesting. What do you think I should do? Should I pick the Charmander? <laughs> yes. There. Of course we're picking the Charmander. That's my boy. That Pokemon is really quite energetic. Mmm. Decroot received the Charmander from Professor Oak. I'm thrilled. I'm ecstatic. Do I want to give a nickname to Charmander? Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. Ah, Cusco. Cusco. Sorry. Slipped into a different character there. Alright, as is customary with any time that I get a Charmander. It's Flint all the way, baby. From the, my days of early childhood to now, it is always and always will be Flint. That's a flint. This is a flint. Over there's a flint. Always flint. Charmander. Yes. I'll take this one then. Dick received the Squirtle because he's a douchebag. Who picks your weakness? Uh, anyways, I'm out of here. What? Way to Groot. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on. I'll take you on. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Time to punch him in the dick. Rival Dick would like to battle. I don't want to have a dick battle with him. That's weird. Incredibly awkward. Go, Flint! Oh, for Pete's sake. So pushy as always. Mmm. DeGroot? Never a Pokemon battle have you had, have you? Mm -hmm. A Pokemon battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon. I know how to do. To, come on, just, just go faster, go faster. I want it. Blah blah blah. Yes. <laughs> oh, there's a battle happening finally. Charmander, you scratch attack. Oh, God, Oak, bow out. Inflicting damage on the- Shut up, Oak, I'm trying to battle. Hmm, sorry. Jeez, idiot. Scratch attack. It's going to be a scratch battle right here. The first one's always the best one. Oh, yeah. Hang in there, Flint. Go for his eyes. Oh, I felt that one. You scratch attack. Because it's the only move you really know. Because who uses growl? Come on. Nobody uses growl. Nobody. All right, Flint. Good job, buddy. It's a good boy. It's a good boy. I wish I could just put him right there this whole time. I don't know. Maybe I can do something with this microphone stand. Boom. There we go. It's a charm. It's... Kind of works. He's really close now. <laughs> He's my best friend. He's there when I need him. All right, Flynn leveled up to six. And halfway to seven. What? Unbelievable. You're unbelievable. Oh, I picked the wrong Pokemon. All right, give me your money. Thank you, thank you. 
Mmm, excellent. Earn prize money if you win, you will. Mm -hmm. And Pokemon will grow. Mm, yes. Make your Pokemon strong by battling, you must. Mm. <laughs> I like looking at myself. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen them up. To Groot, Gramps, smell you later. Okay, so that's that. Uh, so, hi, Professor. I'm gonna head out to Groot. Raise your Pokemon by battling, you will. Mm hmm? It has to battle if it's to grow. That is the way. I kind of slipped in a Mandalorian there. <laughs> anyway. See, now I got. Now that I got him on my shoulder, I kind of got this thing going on with my neck where I'm just like kind of super stiff. Um. Hi. Look, look! I copied what it said on one of the trainer tips. I'm reading too fast. Tip signs. Trainer tips. Press start to. Okay, thanks. Bug standard. I'm gonna go back in the house because <gasps> I know a thing. Decroot, I heard you had a battle against Dick. I wish I'd seen that. Oh, I guess I have to go do another thing first. Okay, anyways. All right, let's go on an adventure with Flint the Charmander. Oh yeah! Ooh, route one, baby. Here we go. Uh-oh. First battle! Fight! And it's a Pidgey. Go, Flint! Scratch attack! Well, Pidgey, use tackle! Go! Scratch attack! Yeah, these early battles are not really exciting. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. Scratch it till it dies. Scratch it like it owes you money. Scratch it like it's a lottery ticket. Those are always fun. Almost a level seven. Sup, bro? Where are you from? Oh, you're from the Pokemon Mart? Hi, I'm from the Pokemon Mart. It's part of a uh, part of a keeping chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in Viridian City. I know. I'll give you a sample. Here you go. Obtained a potion. Singular. One potion. Oh, there's a sample after all. Oh, man. I will... I. You know, growing up, there was always a time in your life when you've played the Pokemon game so much and had the music on. Nowadays I don't really play with the music on as much. Well, maybe the current gen with the uh, Switch. But I have a tendency to uh, turn the volume off because back when I was a kid, I would play it so much that I would literally hear the music in the quiet. It was like it haunted me. Uh-oh. We got another encounter. Man, I can't wait to get those running shoes. Not that it really matters right now, I'm still going to encounter wild Pokemon, but good chance for Flint to get stronger. Yeah, Flint was always my go-to. I just thought Charizard looked really cool, and I was like, alright, I'll go with Charmander, and it's been a love affair ever since, but I guess I'm not the only one to fall in love with that little booger with the fire on his tail. I mean, just look at the value of his Pokemon cards alone, holy crap. My most, my most valuable Pokemon card featuring Charmander is a Toys R Us exclusive Hollow featuring the art from the original set. I got that one in a lot with a bunch of other like Charizard Charmeleon cards. I was really excited about that one. Mainly because I had XY Evolutions in it and I needed to uh, work on finishing my set. So, Alright, we've made it through the grass and here we are in Viridian City. First stop of many along our way. Let's pop into the Pokemon Center. Do a little heal action. Yes, thank you, Nurse Joy. There's a game theory video out there that says that Nurse Joy is not what she thinks she is. I guess the... I'm going to take him down now. <laughs> uh, the idea is that 
She is an evolved Pokemon. Like an evolved Chansey or something. It's like, okay, sure, why not? All right, this is just bog standard information. Nothing special here. Let's move on. Gee, I sure could go for some more than potions that that guy gave me. Hey, do I want to know about the two? Sure, let's know about them. Yeah, they're really interesting. This is how I usually listen to small children. I just kind of, yes. I need to go to the mart. That's where that guy said the potions were. Huh? Uh, let's see. Shop owner. I just give him a generic voice. Hey, you come from Pallet Town? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? Uh, well, I was gonna go that way, but okay, yeah, sure. Didn't really get an option. Uh, yeah, parcel, sure, all right. I promise I won't open it on my way there. Scout's honor. I won't. I'm a good guy. Whee! I've always been an honest person, and I'll remain as such. All right, we could battle a little bit, but let's just go ahead and do the quicker way down till Mom gives me running shoes, which it's not going to happen for a while. So yeah, it's going to be a slow go until then. Oh, and by the way, uh, I will save you uh, in these videos. Hey, I got Ember. I didn't even notice I got that. Uh, the grinding portion, so we'll sk I'll skip over those. So, hopefully, all you have to see is the story. Yes. And me kicking some bootay of uh, a few trainers here and there and some gems. As me and Flint travel through Kanto to become world champions. I'm in Pile to Town, gonna deliver a thing to Oak right now. <laughs> hey, they gave me this thing, you know, thought you might want it. Oh! Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Mmm, the Groot! How is my old Pokemon? Seems it has grown attached to you, it has. Mm? Talented Pokemon trainer you must be. Hmm? What's that? Something you have for me? DeGroot delivered Oak's parcel. That I did. I just chucked it right at him. Just right at his face. I had it on order, I did. Mm, thank you. Gramps! Could you imagine if you had a grandchild who just screamed when they came in? Wait, that's grandchildren too. Never mind. I almost forgot! What did you call me for? Hmm? I don't remember anything. Early onset Alzheimer's is affecting me. Oh, right. A request I have for you two. Mm hmm. My invention on the desk. Never mind. So, on the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data. Mm hmm. Um, Pokemon you've seen or caught. High tech encyclopedia it is. Mm hmm. Groot and Dick, these take with you. That which you need. Hey, we got a Pokedex. All right. I wish I had one. They actually made a Pokedex, like a physical toy back in the day. Came around the same era these guys existed. Uh, I never got one of those. I kind of wish I had one. I mean, I guess I could buy one now, but now it's a collector's value. <laughs> You must catch them to obtain collect data, or complete data. Here are tools. Here are some for catching wild Pokemon. All right, I received five Pokeballs. We're gonna catch you some friends, Flint. And I put them in my Pokeball pocket. Oh yeah. When wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Pokeball, you must throw at it in order to catch it. Work this will not always do. However, a healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. Dream it was mine. 
what old I am, and I cannot get the job done. So, fulfill my dream, you two will. Moving get you. <laughs> Great undertaking in Pokemon history this is. I'm starting to find my flow with this. All right, Gramps, leave it all to me. De Groot, I have... <laughs> I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, De Groot. <laughs> because that's the way a dick laughs. Don't bother coming around to my place after this. Wink. Ha! Reverse psychology. Doesn't work on me. You know, I should probably go over to that house and check out. Let's see. Yeah. Alright! Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Gee, that's lazy of him. <laughs> Here, this will help you. DeGroot received a town map from Daisy. Sub Daisy. So, in the lore, does he come back and, like, marry Daisy? You know, Blue's sister. <laughs> and just really stick it to him by sticking it to her. Yeah. It's like, ah, you beat me all these times and throw me as champion. Now you're banging my sister? Jeez, my life sucks. The group put the town map in his key items pocket. <laughs> I just derailed myself. All right, so we got some Pokeballs to build our team. Let's just go ahead and snag us some starters. Uh, let's see, Rattata. Hmm. I don't think I want one. I'm not going to probably train him. I'm probably not going to use him. So we're just going to use him as train bait. Train bait. Use Ember attack, Flint. Oh, this chair is not comfortable. My butt's killing me. I gotta scoot up. Plus, hey, look, I'm centered better now. All right, Flint, good job. And he leveled up. Level eight. Gotta get my first official catch. And then we'll wrap up. The first episode. Fight. Ember. Let's see. Now, I'm not sure if I want to go ahead and catch one here. I feel like in this version I might be able to either get... Now I should probably be able to find a stronger Pidgey just to save on a couple levels. Maybe get a level 5. That'd be nice. But ultimately there is one specific Pokemon I forget on this one. Well there's maybe two. I forget if Fire Red has Mankey or if it's the other the other one, because uh yeah, might as well do some more training. Fluid is gonna burn you. Hey, all right. No one ever accused me of being good at uh, improvisational singing. Although, I, you know what? This might be a good opportunity to show off uh, a uh, feature of playing this on an emulator. I'm playing this on the Visual Boy Advance. So let's just do this. Woo! Super fast healing. That's probably the coolest thing about doing an emulator uh, on this. You can actually fast forward. Whee! Whee! Woo! <laughs> but sometimes you can't control it. <laughs> All right. All right, we're on a mission. We have a specific Pokemon we need to catch for the future. Not a Spearow. Not a Spearow. That is not what I'm looking for. Sorry, Spearow, but... You just know what I need right now. Uh, let's just go ahead and run for now. Although you are a level 5. Uh, I might come back to that. 
but that's not the one I'm looking for right now. Okay. And sorry for the uh, distortion, but I want to do this as fast as possible. There he is! Or she. Ah, it's a she. Hey, I have nothing against girl Pokemon. Right now I have like half and half on my, uh, my brilliant diamond playthrough. And I always prefer to have a female uh, Gyarados, because I always name it Shiva, which I'll probably do on this version, so looking forward to that. Alright, let's see. Level 3. Eww. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, yeah, okay. We'll catch it. We'll just have to level up. Ooh, okay. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use your Pokeball now. All right. Well, you know I'm going to have to do it. At least for this one. This being my first Pokemon catch. All right, Mankey. You're mine. Pokeball, go! Ah, I popped out of the box. The box? The ball! <laughs> I'm not gonna edit that out, so I'm gonna look like an idiot! Oh, man. Uh... Pokeball... Go! Please? Yeah! We got him! Alright. That was the nerdiest thing I've done today. And I do some nerdy things. <laughs> but I caught the Mankey. Alright. Now, let's add that data to our Pokedex. <clears throat> Mankey. The pig monkey Pokemon. Light and agile on its feet. A ferocious in... And ferocious in temperament. When angered, it flies into an uncontrollable frenzy. Nice. Do I want to give a nickname to the captured Mankey? Mm. Alright, so let's see. We got a lady. It's a monkey. Lady monkey? Lady fighting monkey. La Funky. Uh... Well, maybe we could go with some alliteration. So, start with an M. So, Melanie the Ma Mankey. Melanie. Sure, why not? I like Melanie. Melanie is a cute name. All right. Welcome to the team, Melanie. Okay, now. Okay, so now I know what that is. There we go. I'm learning my controls. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna have to train this, but I'm gonna do that off screen and catch a few more Pokemon. So next time you see me, I'll have a fuller team, and I'll probably have leveled everybody up to eight or so, uh, probably maybe ten, and then we'll start the next episode with a battle against our rival. So with that, I bid you a fond farewell and adieu, and hopefully I will see you next time here on Pokemon Fire Red. Bye-bye.